In this section, I'm going to talk about the Blue Ocean plugin. Now, before we uh, go into the Blue Ocean dashboard, uh, you should make sure that you have installed all the required plugins for Blue Ocean. And the same goes for the pipeline jobs, right? So you need plugins to run a pipeline job. Now, once you have installed Blue Ocean plugin, you will see a link called Open Blue, po Open Blue Ocean in your dashboard. So click on that and the whole UI changes for Jenkins. Now, this could be the future state of Jenkins, um, but uh, I'm not sure about that. So this is how a Blue Ocean dashboard looks like. It shows all your jobs here, all your pipelines here, right? Now, if I go into a particular job, it will show me uh, what what runs I have done for these jobs. I can run, I can start running my job or pipeline job from here. So you can see it is, it is telling me that it has already started. Now, if you go into this, you will see all the details of this pipeline job including the logs, uh, the build stages, the time taken to run each stage and what is going on within this, right? So visually it's a quite superior uh, visualization compared to the pipeline job, which we saw in our last video. But uh, this is what uh, the Blue Ocean plugin looks like and the dashboard looks like, right? Now, if you want to switch to your classic view, there's an option here called go to classic. So when you click on that, uh, it will switch you back to the old Jenkins view. And you can again go back uh, using the blue ocean, back to the blue ocean uh, dashboard. So this is how uh, the future state of uh, Jenkins looks like. Uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, as you will hear this lot uh, when you work, start working on Jenkins 2.0 and the uh, latest versions of Jenkins, you will start hearing a lot about Blue Ocean.